Okay, let's start the uh, demonstration. Searching the surface web. So I think everybody knows Google, and uh, you search on Google. I know some of you are expert on Google. So let's try to search on Google in a different way. In other words, try to use Google advanced operators to get more accurate results. So I start with simple things. They are you might not use so far with the Google search prompt. So as I mentioned in my lecture, so if you do any kind of operator, arithmetic operator on Google Chrome, Google give you a calculator. And you can do all kind of calculation with that Google calculator. And you get the results. Don't need a separate calculator. Type anything on the Google prompt with any arithmetic operation. You get the answer here. So similarly, if you want to kind of uh, convert any money to other, you just uh, type it at the Google prompt. So like uh, uh, 100 euros. Uh, in uh, LK, it has that 21,849 Sri Lankan rupees. So, I made a mistake. Google also correct it to be LK. Google also knows what I'm, even I made a spelling mistake, Google knows what I did then. So, you can convert EU to LK. Same thing, right? So, so such simple things you can do with Google. Similarly, you can search Google with some other advanced operators. Let's try to search about me. So I search customer. So it gives me a lot of results different cousins, different things in the world. But I am interested on only myself, that is cousin D. So is a, I can include, I can do the search within double quotes. So then it tells, or it gives me the results all about cousin disease, cousin disease. There are 4,200 results all on the web which discuss about me, custom disorders, or maybe there are some other disorders as well. So, like, I want to find it out, maybe uh, uh, mobile phone. Phone price, maybe hundred two thousand. Sorry, two two. Two thousand. So it has mobile phones prices and some numbers between hundred to thousand. So you see hundred and twenty one. They highlight, you see, 400, 60, whatever. So if I want maybe RAM, RAM 132, RAM uh, 32 to 64. So you see, I get the results from RAM 32 and RAM 64, right? So bold ones, RAM 64. So phone, RAM, price, 64. 
So you see it's kind of old, not in the press. So if you want to put this in the press, you can do like that, mobile phone price. Prime 32 to 60. Then it has mobile phone price in one phrase, as you see, one phrase. And the RAM size 64. This 4 GB RAM, it's, it's, it's other work. So it returns because it hit the RAM. And it also linked the numbers from this range. Four, two, between numbers. So for example, you run like that. For is 32 to 64, anything between 32 to 64. We'll take it as the search parameter. Similarly, uh, you can use stars. So for example, if I want to search on leopard, so I get uh, leopards, results of leopards, right? So you see leopard, leopard, leopards, highlight so that's how it is so let's search then leopard stump to see whether what kind of results i get leopard so you see leopard sub pages so you see leopard and then leopard boss then maybe leopard safaris so you see, Google add some words to the query. My keyword is leopard, but it adds a hurry. It have it adds sub pieces to the query, and then produce the results. So that's how leopards star works. So I'm let's say I'm interesting on leopard, uh, and also yala. So I say leopard yarn. So all the stories about leopard and yarn. You see, leopards yarn, both appears. Because I use keyword N. Yarn, leopards, right? So it's also added some other words, yala, leopard, and so on, right? So these are the stories. So if I want some items or news items or the data before some year, like I can search this. So then all those news items or the test publish before 2010. So this results. Actually, the results, we I got it. So you can check before kind of 2010, most of the results. So maybe if I further say before 2000, let's say, still I have 230 results published to over before 2000 about labor. So this anything, right? So I'm, assume I'm only interested in videos. You can run the same query on videos. So, but no results, no videos before that. Before. Uh, my query was let, let's say 2000, right? So in the videos, no. Videos maybe before 2010, let's see. Ah, there are videos on YouTube, which published before 2010, nine seven results. This 2004, 2009, like that, right? The stories, videos in, about leopard in Yala before 2010. So similarly, I say before 2010, uh, 
and after after maybe 2010 and before 2015 so the between these two periods so you see i get the research 2011 13 13 and so on 11 so these videos between this period right so let me show some other examples so like maybe let's say i want to search for person called chaturam so you see a lot of pages so it's a chatura sena ratna is the topic because maybe he's most popular somehow so if i want to get rid of him i can say chatura minus sena so now the hits are not so sena ratna i have easily removed him and I can get other useful chaturas. So I'm not interested on, let's say, chatura alis as well. So I can say alis. Minus alis. So then I get other interesting chaturas in the internet. Otherwise, if I search just chatura, so I might get results about Senaratno always, where I don't go. So I say, I can get rid of those chaturas by typing minus in front of the yeah. So that's how minus works. So maybe we can search for photos as well. So for example, let's say I am, want to find it out a picture. Chatur. So you see, a lot of picture which says related to each other. So, sorry, I, I, I want to get rid of this. I just want Chatur. So you say I say Chatura, it's all the pictures about Chatura say Naratna. And maybe Chatura always as well. Because they are kind of prefers by most of the websites. So if I want to get rid of those pictures, I can say minus this. So it still always comes, but a lot of chaturas. Now I can find it out what I want, which chatura I want, removing those two people. So like that, I can exclude some words uh, from the uh, search queries. I can include, I can exclude uh, some words using minus. Okay. Let's say I am interested to find it out. National ID numbers, not images, pictures. So I type NIC. So a lot of websites, identity card department, and a lot of websites. But I am interested only the PDFs. So I type file type PDF. Then. So then it has it produces the documents which has PDF. So some of them are maybe Indian documents. I don't want them. I want an analysis file type PDF site LK. You see then a lot of Sri Lankan websites has published the documents PDF with national ID. How many? 20,100 results. So it's quite large. So let's open maybe one of them to see what are they. It's a document, huge document, right? Legible for registration as a construction, whatever. I don't know. 
So it has some names, address, mobile number, what the trade is, and so on. So this information is in private. So, but they have put it in the public web. So, so maybe I, some bad guys can use those to do social engineering attacks. So for example, I can call this Subramanian on his mobile, for example, and say I'm calling this bank and so and so and your ID number is this. Uh, I want to verify your credit card detail. May I know your credit card number? So he will tell because I build the trust by correctly telling his ID number and perhaps I can give his address as well. So if I want to find it out where he is lived, I can search this on the Google map, right? Isn't it? So I go to the map and maybe search. So maybe kind of the area he might live, this address is not exactly, but it gives kind of area he lives. So I don't know whether this is bad or not. Good. So on the on the point of Aussie people, this is good because we can find about people, intelligence about people on the side of individuals that is bad because we will find personal information about people. So as example here, which has some document in national ID and the LR index number as well. So this is published by a university, unfortunately. National ID and the index, A level index number. So and the name of the person. Someone can definitely misuse those information. Am I right? Okay. So, other thing what you can see here, the number of results, 20,000. So, uh, if someone wants to collect the NICs of group of people in Sri Lanka, so they can, I think, roughly collect it over 100,000 NICs, just running such simple query. Because, some of the government institute, universities has published those on the public places. That is not acceptable in the side of individuals. But on the point of OSINT, we are very happy because we can find about all about them. If you are looking for them, like here. So here, we can get the name and then I see, but in some documents you say, you see we can get even address as well as phone numbers. So here the name and I see some registration number and something else, I don't know. So, so you see, I didn't do any hacking to a website or whatever, just simple for it. Okay, similarly, so this image queries, we can do a lot of image search, right? So there are some images about maybe NICs, but let's say I, I am not now interested in NICs, but I have some picture. I want to find a similar versions of those pictures and name of them. So I kind of use the option in the image search, search by image option. So I can upload the image. 
by maybe I go to find some image in my directory perhaps I have some image files of uh, let's say some image where I don't know who, who, who the person of him I want to find him I just upload that image and search and this is maybe images sorry I upload uh, search by image sorry upload to uh, image and then search it gives me the location of this image and the results of the search so I look for the image Okay, there are some places where this image appears. So I know. So by, okay, here. So when I visit that, in the tweet, I can identify the Twitter page of this person. And there perhaps I can identify, okay, he's a kind of, Twitter name Danish Navi, right? So even I don't know his name, I can get it. Just put in a picture and he, I can go to his, uh, find it out his social profiles and so on. Right, image search. Uh, then maybe let's search on me about uh, Image search. Uh, I go image search. So some in the top hit, obviously me, they hit it. But I, I want to perhaps get some thing not published on the Facebook. So I say minus Facebook to get rid of Facebook. Okay, so those images, again, from Facebook, actually not from Facebook. So you might not really see that because I don't have Facebook, so I don't have images from Facebook. Maybe I search for Chatur. Uh, so a lot of Chaturas, so images from a lot of places. I say minus partner, so to get rid of him. And then if I want to get rid of Facebook, I can say Facebook as well. Or else I can say minus site facebook.com. Right? So I say site minus facebook.com. That means all those photos actually not from the Facebook, but unfortunately still Senaratna appears. Uh, okay, let's say uh, here, if I want them from the Facebook, then I can say site Facebook. So then you see this first sheet from Facebook. So if you put minus here, It is not the Facebook. This is some other websites, right? So minus works even with combination of other parameters, right? So similarly, if you want to get the meaning of some words, as I said, define will work. Say define. Maybe I say define, uh, and you can get the dictionary. So I say define maybe sun. So this is about sun. And, sun. Uh, it's 
tells what is and, and so on and how to pronounce it returns me a dictionary so similarly uh, you can get the weather with the column right so it tells column weather where the goal will tell what happened in the goal immediately Similarly, time, time, time at goal. Maybe time at uh, time at uh, Singapore. This is the time. So, like that, there are some advanced operators and the words where we can use to refine our queries. So more seriously, some of these queries expose sensitive information. So, so, so uh, let's take our other example. So like I'm some, let's say I'm an investigator and I want to find it out some murder cases. So I type murder. Sorry, I made a mistake. You are D E R is the murder. So it's defined the murder first and all about videos or the images from all over the world. But I am interested on Sri Lanka. It is Sri Lanka. So then it tells news items and things about Sri Lanka, two murders in the last 24 hours and so on. 16,000, this much of results, right? But I want to narrow down, maybe murders in Sri Lanka 2019, maybe I can say after, uh, 2019. So then, if I interest on news, so I can search on the news thing. So this is some news items. If I go on, so maybe if I interest on videos, maybe video news item from different news websites. Right? So I am interested on maybe uh, in the historical, historical cases, like before, before 2000, right, to see whether there are some cases, yes, uh, there are some videos about some others, you can see that, so like I can give the periods, and I can specify the website as well. If I interest murders in 2005, before 2005, publish on YouTube. So I will cite YouTube. No, no videos. Maybe, maybe 2015. So maybe 2000. No, so if we remove this before parameter, it not gives me any results, I think, because it's YouTube is not a Sri Lankan website, perhaps. If I go to all I remove this. Yes, see whether any YouTube's here then. And the videos. Yes, but I need this well, maybe YouTube. Sign. 
Yes, I didn't type com in previous. This is murders in Sri Lanka site youtube.com. All the search results you see from YouTube. Right? YouTube.com. So then I can try try before. Before 2005. Yes, there are some uh, pictures. So, in the results, I don't know whether they are really from Sri Lanka. So we can try it out. So you see, the different advanced parameters produce uh, different search results. So those results might reveal uh, intelligent information. Right. You should get practice to run or use those advanced queries. As I mentioned, those Google advanced queries used by people uh, to do kind of uh, find it out some confidential information. In the case of like interesting and so on. For that, I'll show you some examples. Perhaps, uh, let's say, I want to search some documents uh, series. So I say entitled title. I want to find it out some series. Yes. So you see, I get a lot of curriculum images about people. So I am searching for documents, the word curriculum with a in time. Right. So then I want uh, those maybe from Sri Lanka website. I say, maybe I say sign dot anything dot Sri Lankan websites. So different CVs from different Sri Lankan people. Right? So then I, let's say I want then uh, uh, to see whether phone numbers and addresses. So I say A addresses, any address appears. So CVs with address. Maybe I interest actually phone numbers. Later. Phone numbers are usually in CVs. So I search maybe phone number, any combinations like that. So these curriculum details maybe have phone numbers. So, so he has some curriculum detail published. CV in the public domain and put some phone number as well I think somewhere should uh, phone number should be somewhere I think it's uh, similarly uh, so let's say I remove site here but I want uh, maybe phone numbers also appear uh, entitled curriculum which is and I want interest on PDF documents. So those are the perhaps the curriculum it is 
all of them are SMPD. Uh, so maybe I restrict to the financial side again. Uh, I think they are PDF. So you see, it's PDF documents with some people, some, uh, and its positions and kind of its phone number, I think available somewhere in the documents. So that's why it returns. Uh, so even in the search query, you see its phone number is available in all search because I search for phone. So you see, using such uh, advanced search queries, people can search about confidential information, right? And locate them just using Google. So it's also serious. Some people might search for some username password as well, for example. So uh, sometimes uh, passwords are stored in the environment files. So I type, I type this one, I type environment and database passwords. So, so those are the env files I think contain database passwords, local host kind of, they are local hosts, but we cannot connect because of that, but we can, get the database password somewhere I think here. Yeah. So maybe the same websites or when they put it into the online, they might use same passwords. So maybe let's see whether some sites from LK domain. No. Sorry, don't you? So in Sri Lankan, people are better like this. So similarly, I can search for log files. So I say file type, then log. Uh, maybe I am searching for all in text. I say our username and password should be in text. So there are two files here. Uh, let me make it this last. All in text, username, passwords, and then say file type plus. plus. And a few, few of them. Actually, not few, 85,000 documents. So maybe I can say. Here, site. LK. Only two. Use uh, here site parameter as the final filter. L two. So. In the, in the world, when you take 85,000 uh, files as usernames and password, some of them are confidential. So if you are looking for such queries, they are available on what we call it as Google Hacking Data. So you can visit this website, we call it as Google Hacking Data. So this database has sample queries published by different people. So you can try those queries to see whether these examples are still works. 
some of these examples might not work, but still some of them work. So as you see, by running a query, quite a lot of information, you can retrieve just from Google. Right. Okay. So maybe. Uh, so I, if you want to search something, especially some OSIN, OSIN data, so you have to use multiple search engines. So Yandex is some of the other. This is kind of a search engine technology from Russia. So maybe I search Hassan on Yandex. So we produce this results. So I search maybe Hassan on Google. This is the Google results. So you see it's kind of different. Ranking content is different. Right? So same when you go to the images. So it gives a lot of speakers because there is a speaker called Kasun in Russia, I guess, somewhere I don't know. You see, they create Kasun. Maybe a speaker, and the Russian name is Kasun. I don't know. Right? So, so if you search, then Yandex it gives it that. So if you search on then images, so it's pictures. So when I want to show two different search engines may not create the same result. So they may create different results. So in Google, so you can go to search settings and maybe you can do some search settings. Similarly, Yandex also has some settings. You can go there. You can uh, do a lot of search options and settings. Obviously, in the image search, I would like to show you uh, there are some tabs Google show, you see. So we can actually Google searches different tabs when you search it. These things. So maybe I search uh, leopard research. Uh, maybe I, instead of N, I can even say E. Leopard in Yara. Uh, images. So a set of images. Google produce. I run the same perhaps. A different, right? Different set of images. So it might have similar images as well. Somewhat different. As you see, the prioritizations from these two different search engines are different. So the Yandex also has advanced parameters. But I'm not going to play with the index with the advanced parameters because they are filtering against unwanted content is very poor. So when you search on Yandex, you might get unwanted websites which you really not expect. So you can try yourself on the index. So it also has same parameters. And it basically gives you the content Google may not give you sometimes. So because of that, if you are a person looking for intellectual information, 
Beta you search for more than one search engine. And you have to master more than one search engine. So as you may aware, search engines also kind of profiling you. So your search results is different than someone else's search results. So when I search something on my computer, so they will collect those information. So better maybe if you search or do open source intelligence, you use in control mode, private mode. Incognito mode or the private mode. So then Google cannot provide similar for MDC as well. So if you want to turn off this, some features, uh, you can visit Google search settings as I show you. It has uh, some parameters where you can set. So regions, you can set to the different region. Current region means my search result is optimized to Sri Lanka. So you can set different regions if you wish. And uh, so there are the parameters you see. Among those parameters, so this one is important, turn on search, set search. I actually turn on to filter it out unwanted content. So if I unclick that, when you search, you might receive unwanted content. If I don't know, so you, I, don't, I don't want, so you turn on. So you see, the searching is kind of hard. So in the surface web, we have trillions of information. So these search engines, such as Google and Yandex, try to index those. So if you are trying to retrieve information, intelligent information, you can master those two searching tools and you can get quite a lot of information. I have just demonstrated you a very simple thing. So, but it's up to you to practice those and build more advanced queries and to get more accurate and the results you require. What you have to remember is everything you put into the web or any social networking or social media websites will be indexed by those search engines and someone else will search and get those. Even you might, after even you remove those, they are still under indexes of those search engines. And somewhere else find those, maybe after five years or after 10 years, who knows? So be careful because you are already exposed. So it's by yourself, voluntary you expose yourself, voluntary you put your information to the internet and tells about yourself, your personal information. So someone else will use those search tools to find those. Or you are not doing it, but someone else, your friend, your kind of your organization, expose those without your consent. So you can search about yourself to see whether such content is indexed by those search terms. So if so, they may keep, remain keep on the internet. Removing them from their indexes is not so easy as you wish. So be careful. So we are in the connected world. 
So, so we are actually exposed. We ourselves have exposed ourselves to the world. It's really hard to hide some data about ourselves and our history to the world in this present situations. In the present world, it's really hard. So, what saint is all about retrieving those information in various forms. In this demonstrations and the lecture which I try to give you a feeling about search technologies and the way you should query using the searching tools. Thank you very much for listening so far.